M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So on the left, we've got the Kuosheng UV K6 or K5, and on the right, we've got the Universal Radio Controller, which is made by G1 LRO. And we've got the PC audio coming from our computer. There is another item you can buy, which is about £20 that you can use. It gives you a USB-C out for your audio ETC. Now, the one I'm using is, is this one here. Now, I haven't fully worked out. I did just, it is receiving audio and I do have full control of the app here. And I'll just show you the connection. So these cables are basically 3.5 to 3.5. The top one at the moment is going to HT35 that you can see here. So the top one's going to the right hand connection. I've got the setting on HT. And once, as soon as you plug the, this item plugs into your PC, there's a USB connector at the back. I mean, there's more connectors and look, you know, it's, it's, if you read, there's learning to be done here, but you've got the tip, ring one, ring two, sleeve, it's all there. You've got this cat connection here. Then you've got, it says here, O-H-I-S-A. And so, I, you know, I haven't built this. G1LRO did. It's called the Universal Radio Controller and it has multi-functions. Every now, if someone calls, now I did call in, but uh, there was a buzz and I don't even know if it was receiving my audio. The best way for me to check that is to actually do the audio test on HubNet. So I'll do that. But just remind you that the bottom cable is going on the left. It actually says HT 2.5. Although uh, the 2.5... No, actually, that would make sense. Yeah, let me just remember which way around the cable is. So that's the way it would normally go around. So if I go by the description, the 2.5, let's just follow it. It's going across here, down, and then to the left where it's marked 2.5. So that makes complete sense. Um, so if I just quickly um, do an audio test. So this is my sort of hubnet control panel connected to my all-star node box. I highly recommend you get one of these. G7RPG at hotmail.com. It will connect any analog radio um, to all of these internet connections around the world. And there are thousands. Now, if I try and reply to that station, it just buzzes. You watch. I just got to... Close this settings window. K K8LR, you received me. K8LR M0 FXB. Now the radio does go into TX. I'm not sure if he'd hear me. Yeah, so he's probably not getting my audio because we're not getting a reply. We can actually test the audio. If I click audio test on my device here, just audio test. It's going to link me in, but you can see everything's working. So yeah, big buzz there. Yeah, in audio test, it doesn't like it. It's just, if I disconnect. Completely. Click audio test again. It goes into transmit. So we just stay disconnected for now. We'll just go hubnet, back to hubnet. So for receive at the moment, it's fine. It, the, I am able to make the radio PTT. Now we've got a couple of options here. I'm on HT mode and of course the developer will give me some tips. We've got, I would say INT could be to do with firmware, but I don't know. Now, the reason I knew this was gonna start working because once I plugged it in this configuration, the Quashang dock came to life. As soon as I unplug a cable, that you're going to lose that connection. So there is a, a data connection. It's just the audio is getting a bit messed up. Now remember, when you do a proper, when you make the cable, you have to add a 47K resistor in line. So it could be to do with that. So if I just flick it to cat, and let's see if it loses connection. I've just done that. I'll reboot it just to make sure that's taken. Yeah, as soon as I put it into cat, it loses connection. So... We know it's got to be on HT. So I'm just going to tinker around. You know, we've got RX audio, TX audio. 
I could swap the cables, but my gut feeling is they're the right way around. I'll swap them and just see if it still makes connection. Yeah, as soon as I swapped them, it went into TX. So yeah, well, it has achieved what I was initially trying to do, and just that is just to be able to use the Quasheng dock um, and listen to it without having to cut up and cables. And it's definitely achieved that. Uh, when it comes to transmit, then I think we've got further things. I don't actually know what the monitor does. So, of course, this is quite an advanced bit of uh, engineering here. E but you can see I, I've got full control. I've got the settings menu. I can do the channel editor. I can program my radio. Let's just read. It's reading the radio now. You see it there, look, it's read my radio. So I'm reasonably, I'm very happy as it is. We've got this, remember these, uh, the graph as well. Um, this might be the older version of, of Quashing Dot because I remember that there was some additions added, yeah, where you had um, like a VFO control. But that's okay, I'll run that one as well, but not this during this video. I've got full settings, channel editor. If I change the frequency, you have to close that first. Let me just show you the radio. Um, you can see it's changing the frequency. And we have, we've got to remember how to use this now. B is hold down two. See that moving down? And yeah, it's basically working. I'm going to put all the links in the description. These are about £50. You can buy the other unit for about 20 You do have to assemble it. And there's a learning curve, but you know, it's a lot less than 50, isn't it? So I get it. But thanks for watching my channel, 73. Please remember to like and subscribe. Of course, lots more learning to do. And I've actually got the APRS Digi board that will allow this unit to connect budget radios. It could be your normal UV5R um, as an APRS transmitter and digipeter. And how cool is that? Bye for now.